29th and 14th of June 2007, I went along to two important events, paying tribute to those who fought in the Falklands War. 380 veterans took part in a parade, which started from Johnston Terrace down the Royal Mile to St Giles Cathedral in Edinburgh. The parade was led by the Royal Marines of Scotland, along with many ex-servicemen and standard bearers. The Royal Navy was also present from Her Majesty's ship Exeter which was docked in Leith for their five-day visit. A beating retreat took place on Edinburgh's Castle Esplanade. The ceremony featured the massed pipes and drums of ten Legion branches with the Royal British Legion Central Band. Thirty-six colours were also shown. These events are Scotland's way of paying their tributes to the people who died in the 74-day conflict. The events have been organised by the Royal British Legion Scotland, which also hopes to recognise the achievements of those who helped liberate the islands of the Falklands. The pipes and drums now play a tune called The Green Hills of Tyrol, coached by drum major Mike Leslie and pipe major Frank Orr. During the Falklands War, 255 Britons died, 755 were wounded and many more suffered mental wounds. The war began when Argentine troops invaded the Falkland Islands, South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands. The war was triggered by the occupation of South Georgia by Argentina on the 19th of March 1982, followed by the occupation of the Falklands and ended when Argentina surrendered on the 14th of June 1982. War was never actually declared by either side. The initial invasion was considered by Argentina as a reoccupation of its own territory and by Britain as an invasion of a British overseas territory. The war cost a thousand lives on both sides and the impact the war has had is most noticeable within the families of those who fought in the conflict. Now, the pipes and drums play The Heights of Dargai. It was a fair challenge filming this event, as there were lots of crowds standing in front of my camera. However, I tried my best and battled my way through. All the bands present on that evening had only met several hours before, so I had not much time to rehearse. With the dedication of the band members, the display went ahead without a hitch. It was a very windy night, quite cold, but I was determined to keep filming the event. Unfortunately, my battery ran out, so I had to stop filming.
Another tune now is the 79th Farewell to Gibraltar. The central band of the Royal British Legion was also present and are seen here playing Voice of the Guns. The central band was played by Sergeant Major Roger Burt. As the events come to a close, I look forward to making many more films on future events to come. I've always had a passion for marching and music and I've thoroughly enjoyed myself this year. So long until next time.